You know where I live. You know where my mama live. You know my grandma number. You know my brother number. You know my sister. You know all the numbers. Nothing is going to stop me from seeing my baby. Period. Do you get what I'm saying? Girl, I will pull up. Girl, I will stalk you outside your house. Girl, I don't care if you call the police. Girl, let's do it. You want to throw them hands? What? what? <laughs> you, I done told y'all from the jump. And I said what I said. You not taking my baby. Period. Up to all the trollers. Please say whatever you need to say in the pinned comment. Please. So I can either or block your ass or address. Oh, damn. Tatiana, what I call her, she a bust down. Yeah, my homie just smashed scoring touchdowns. She got some good cat, nigga, we could go rounds. Take me in, shit, I kind of want some more now. Uh. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to my people's BBJ Rod. He currently has 743 subscribers. I need y'all to get him to a band today. Everybody's dream is to hit 1K at least. You know what I'm saying? And I need y'all to get my peoples to 1k today their channel is pretty lit they do pranks challenges reactions uh public interviews and more you know what i'm saying just you know they just need to hit that milestone and i need y'all to do it for me man to the people who really support me i know i got at least 300 people that really support me that to get my peoples to that uh to that 1k so i need y'all to handle that for me and handle it for me today please i love y'all i appreciate y'all enjoy the video What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. I got like several things to say before I even get to this video. So, with certain shit, I tend to be reserved with because I know what people do with words. You know, I know how people twist shit up and actually just ruin people's lives is what they do. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's just, you know, welcome to the internet. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I'm a grown ass woman. And I said what the fuck I said. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go here. I wanna discuss this confusion uh, that people were having with my last live stream of me talking about somebody saying that I was the one who got Chris's video blocked. You see, people up in the chat talking about it was royalty's world. And I'm like, come again and say what? Now, I didn't even see the chat till today. But um, somebody called me and was like, you know what I'm saying? People saying that you blocking Chrissy videos. And I'm like, for what? What the fuck would I get out of blocking her video? And why? You know what I'm saying? That don't pay no bills for me. You know what I'm saying? That don't, that don't give me no money, baby. So what the fuck am I doing it for? You know what I'm saying? That shit pissed me off. So I got on live. I had to let it be known. You got the wrong one. Thank God the real person came out and was like, it was me, shit. <laughs> and she did it for whatever reason she did it for, which is none of my business. You get what I'm saying? I don't care. Honestly. I just wanted to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to know, Neek ain't ever got time for shit like that. I, I got too much shit to do to be sitting around sabotaging somebody's name and, and, and fucking up somebody's life. That's not my thing. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to give you my opinion on how the hell I feel. Period. And I said what I said. But you know what? The Chrissy and Damo saga is so nasty. And everybody getting so into this. And, and just doing the entire most. Throwing, I, I'm throwing all the way in it. Just because I did a collaboration with Damo. And at this point, it's like, you know what? I still said what I said, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still going to be me, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Damo cool as hell. Yeah, she is. You know, and we did a collab. Uh, chemistry was dead and everything. Blit, you know what I'm saying? Period. But I still do reaction videos, and I still say my opinion. I don't care when, where, how, or who's there. You get what I'm saying? Period. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead and get to this video. Because, y'all... Uh, it's long and um, you know, everybody want my opinion on this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you. You get what I'm saying? Facts. <clears throat> video 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and get to it. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm so damn hungry. Is you ready? Let's get it. 
school. What's up, y'all? It's Domo Wilson in this bitch. So today, I am making another video about an ex that we broke about nine, eight months ago. I did not want to make this video at all, zero percent, which is why I have not. Okay, as you guys know, we've been having this ongoing battle for the last damn near nine months. Going back and forth, and eventually I start responding. I posted a video right here, and I said, I said what I said, I'm leaving this in 2018. And I'm like her, I meant that. So, I have not said anything since 2018. I don't know why we're continuing. Actually, no, let me, let me correct myself. I do know why we're still doing this. So, my life has been going amazing. My okay. son is happy, my son is healthy. I'm happy, I'm healthy. My music's going good, I'm excelling. My career is skyrocketing. YouTube is popping. Got the best supporters on the freaking internet. And my ex is plummeting, like, going down. So, I made a clear video why I took my son out of my ex's life about four months ago. And I said, I'm leaving in 2018. I'm being stress-free, I'm being good. Leave me alone, I said what I said, period. And four months later, she decides to respond. 2019, it's about to be damn near April. And I So, a lot of y'all, uh, well not a lot of y'all, but some people felt some type of way that I didn't finish that video. You try and sit and watch an hour and 21 minute video, which is an almost an hour uh, and a half video of her saying pretty much the exact same thing that she said before, except she switched her words a little bit. But I'm going to address it in this video of, of whatever she said and how she said it. But this is the thing, you know, right is right. Wrong is wrong with me, period. I don't give a fuck what anybody think honestly at this point about you know me and my opinion like this is my opinion you get what i'm saying if you want to put your opinion out make a video you get what i mean but I i'm gonna say my opinion you know what i'm saying i yeah so let's just let's just keep going i know why she did it she's plummeting her views are not doing good she's not making a lot of money and i'm topic of discussion so she knows if she make a video about me or make a video about dominic she's gonna get views she's like oh snap donald's life is going too damn good you know she hit two million in two days on her music video she's on genius she's about to be in movies everything is happening so fast it's yes, really movies. overwhelming but i know i'm doing this for my son and myself i got a baby to feed i can't be chilling i can't just be not doing nothing i can't just be laying up all day. i can't do that i have to work i have to do stuff but i wanted to make this video i did not want to respond i did not but she won't stop okay she won't stop and i feel like this is definitely my last time responding for sure everybody is advising me not to my lawyers my managers they're like don't do it but once my son gets involved it's like oh no uh-uh okay i don't care what y'all talking about and likes it's 2019 baby girl you are in a whole new relationship you've been in a whole new relationship i'm happy you're supposedly happy so let's why not move on that's where i'm at in my life why not move on oh she misses him Right. Let me tell y'all a little something. Let me tell y'all a little something before she go down. So, in Chrissy's video, a couple things that y'all were upset about, I'm gonna address in this video because obviously we're to, it's a, a topic of discussion. Y'all said <clears throat> that I didn't listen to the rest of what Chrissy was saying when they were talking about adoption in Arizona. I, if I can find this video, I'm gonna insert it. But if y'all don't recollect. Uh, several months ago, Chrissy said that she did not adopt him because she was procrastinating. Y'all don't remember that? So now this time that she's saying, she, mind you, in the video recently, she said, I recently researched. I recently researched. And it said that I can't adopt him. Unless whatever laws or whatever. I'm over here like, oh, how could I forget? Because that's the part that was making me say, oh, she didn't want him from the first place. Because Damo was giving her the opportunity to adopt him, and she didn't. We don't know the laws from months ago. So, like, it's just, <laughs> she said that she didn't adopt him because she was procrastinating. Y'all don't forget that. If she don't have Dominic and she don't have me, she is at the bottom of the totem pole. She is at the one. So what she's doing is she sees her career isn't going anywhere. People aren't checking for her. People aren't looking for her. But if she talks about my son. I'm going to her ass on that one. I ain't going to lie to you. But. Uh, <laughs> she is not being nice in this video. <laughs> 
my son, my precious innocent baby. Then she gets the, she gets the support, she gets the love, she gets the sympathy. Now I'm not gonna talk about nothing else on this video besides my son because I don't give a shit, honestly, whatever she's talking about. Like it was so long ago, uh, we've been broken up now for nine months, but I will say that I never cheated, period. When you had no title, you wasn't my eye. That was late. <laughs> but no, I never cheated, period. I'm all about loyalty. I've been hurt before. Why? If you're gonna lie, I make up something greater than that. So I'm just addressing my son in this video because it's the only thing that matters. Everything else is irrelevant. So, today's my son's birthday, which he had a very lovely day, and I'll be uploading that video in about three or four days because I have so much footage, and I want it to be like well thought out and really good editing. And I wanted to just put this video good out. Good editing. Just put it all out. Now, I'm gonna try to be cool, calm, and collective, but y'all know, y'all know me when it comes to my son. I do not play about my son. All day, people be sending me stuff like, your ex posted this, your ex bought him a cake. You heard that right, like my ex. Bought my son a cake. Mind you, she don't reach out to him or nothing. But she bought my son a cake that he's never gonna see for Snapchat and Instagram to show that she gives a fuck. Y'all know damn well that baby ain't gonna see that cake on that uh, on that Instagram. And y'all know damn well that baby ain't gonna see them nails on that Instagram. So who is she doing it for? I just, I'm curious. Now is this, you know, maybe he'll see it in the future? Possibly. But other than that, <clears throat> you know what I would do? If Dominic was my baby, I always tell y'all, I don't care. I told Domo. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. You wouldn't take my baby from me, period. And she agreed. She was like, exactly. Like, you know how when you were in school, your teacher always say, I wasn't the one who got you in trouble. You the one who got you in trouble. I wasn't the one who gave you the F. You the one who gave you the F. This is the thing. If you would have showed this genuine side, this, this, helpless i just i just really want my baby i just i just really love my baby you would have talked to the mother i you the second mother you would have talked to the first mother and you would have been like yo listen i know we going through it you know what i'm saying i don't really want you like that i don't but can you please let me have my son though you know what i'm saying the last text messages that her and Damo had together, D Damo said that she would give her the chance to adopt him again, and she didn't do it. Y'all don't remember? She said, "I don't, I don't want to take you to court," is what Chrissy said. But it wasn't her telling you to take her to court. It was her telling you that y'all could go to court for you to get custody over this baby, and you still didn't do it. Around the time when you could have done it, you didn't do it. She's not paying for today. She's paying for back then. Way back when. You get what I'm saying? Like, nobody's taking my baby from me. Not even you, Damo. Period. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about none of that. Nobody's taking my child. Girl. Wait, hold on. I'm going to just listen. <laughs> Nobody taking my baby. Bought yeah. my son a cake. With the number two on it, because he's two today, my baby. He's two. Wrong him this long paragraph on uh, Twitter or uh, Instagram that he can't see. Right? I haven't reached out to him in four months, but I'm going to tell you something real quick. Hold on. I haven't reached out, girl. Got a tattoo because he's a Pisces of like some fish or something like that. Got the sympathy, like everybody's like, oh my god, she misses him. Like, how could Damo do this? She sees that. She misses him and she sees she's been in his life. Oh my god. Y'all, this is what she wants. I told y'all what she was gonna do beforehand. I'm always trying to cover for her because people always be in the comments like she don't care about that baby. All the time. Y'all will literally be in the comments. She don't care about that baby. Damo, please just open your eyes and I'd be like, no, nah. so I'll always record her, like, hey, can you at least smile with him or can you do this with him? You know, and she'd be like, and I'm just like. But back then I was a weak bitch. 
not anymore. I am much stronger now. I pray to be the woman that I am today. And ain't nobody about to make me feel guilty for making the best decisions for my son. Okay. So with that being said, she has not reached out to him in damn near four months. She sent me a couple emails about like three days ago, typing out this long thing, right? Like how she wants to see Dominic and all this stuff and just a long ass email. And I'm like, girl, you're you're not fooling nobody. You haven't reached out to me like that in three, four months. I'm already taking you to court. So you're doing this basically for court papers to prove that you're reaching out to him. And then what so happened to be that it's right around his birthday. So you wait all these months. But be on social media, boo-hoo crying. You know where I live. You know where my mama live. You know my grandma number. You know my brother number. You know my sister. You know all the numbers. Nothing is going to stop me from seeing my baby, period. Do you get what I'm saying? Girl, I will pull up. Girl, I will stalk you outside your house. Girl, I don't care if you call the police. Girl, let's do it. You wanna throw them hands? What? what? <laughs> you, I done told y'all from the jump and I said what I said. You not taking my baby. Yeah. Spit no. Mm -mm. Right? No. Nope. And she knows my mama. My mama is neutral. My family is neutral. If I'm wrong, I am wrong. And they gonna straight up tell me like you are wrong. And but I would too. I've seen firsthand how she is. My ex does not care about my son. And that's why when y'all be like, but look at the pictures and the videos. Like, oh my gosh, she deserves. I'm like, here we go. I told y'all ahead of time what she was gonna do. She gonna post all these pictures and videos and boo-hoo and cry and stuff. Just don't fall for it. She's a social media parent. She's the type of parent to pick the baby up for a few hours, go to the park, Snapchat, the whole thing, and be like, there you go. I see you in another two weeks. That's a whole auntie. She ain't no sympathy for me. Let me tell I'm you something. Auntie. My son will never be used. She never wanted him. She doesn't want him now. There's so much that y'all just don't know. First of all, I sent her a cease and desist, which means you cannot post my son without my permission. Me as a parent, I have the right to tell people, hey, you can't post my son. Now, if people are posting my son and they're being nice and they're, you know, happy birthday, darling, and stuff like that, that's cool. But for me and you to already have beef, right? And you post my son, not because you love him or you miss him, but because you know he's gonna get sympathy and you know your career is gonna go way better if you don't look like such a deadbeat. You're gonna post him, get the sympathy you want, get a tattoo, like, and that makes everything better because when you got the dominant tattoo, you was cheating on me. And you claim you wasn't, but you was because I miss you, baby. I can't wait to see you. I'm not even gonna get into that. But anyways, you got my name tattooed. You still cheated on me. You still didn't really love me. You Jesus. got two letters tattooed on you. Like, girl, you're just the coloring book at this point. Oh, no! She called her a coloring book. What a coloring book got to do with anything? I don't know. Child, a coloring book. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, listen. Nobody is taking my baby. Period. You get what I'm saying? Like. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. You're not taking my child. Do you get what I'm saying? Expect everything to just go away. Expect everything to get better. You have to own up to this dominant shit. And you have to be real with the people. Stop lying and saying like, oh, I care about him so much. I'm so traumatized. I'm so hurt. When in reality, when you was with him, you took him for granted. We would switch off every three and a half days. She'll call me like, Dominic can't stop crying. Can you please come? I don't know what's wrong with him. How do you make this for Dominic? Can you help me give him a bath? He's cranky. Can you come pick him early because I got this to do? I will be over there for three and a half days with her because we switch off, right? Not technically because I'll be over there. And I would tell her, don't Snapchat me. Don't say nothing because I don't want people to think that you can't do this on your own. Don't say nothing. Like, I want people to believe in you. She would always tell me how bad of a mom she is. That she's not doing a good job. And I'd be like, no. Like, I want her to <laughs> believe in herself. I want her to have that bond with him because I'm like, no. We're not about to do this. Like, you're my mother. <clears throat> I believe in you. You can do this. You know, Dominic loves you. I would say all this stuff so she can believe it. To give her reassurance to herself. Because I didn't want her from like that. You know, when you love somebody, you try to protect them. 
at all costs. And that's what I did to her. Like, I would want her to be good. I would want her to do good. I would always tell her good things about herself to better herself. Even if she wasn't there, I wanted her to be there. Like, no, you're a good mother. You will get there. You will be good to him. And she just never came through. It all got worse when she got in a relationship. Which I'm like, that's cool. Like, of course, I'm human. Not a lot of people know this because I don't tell a lot of people. And that's why a lot of people are confused. Like, okay, she moved on. But we were still having intercourse. That's why I was so hurt. Not that we wanted each other back or nothing like that. But we were still... By the way, we... <laughs> what? <laughs> things about herself to better herself. Even if she wasn't there, I wanted her to be there. Like, no, you're a good mother. You will get there. You will be good to him. And she just never came through. It all got worse when she got in a relationship. Which I'm like, that's cool. Like, of course, I'm human. Not a lot of people know this because I don't tell a lot of people. And that's why a lot of people are confused. Like, okay, she moved on. But we were still having intercourse. That's why I was so By the way, we barely had intercourse when we were together. So why we decided afterwards is beyond me. <laughs> Yeah, like listen, like, I'm dead. Cool. Don't I thought it was disrespectful. You could have told me. It's too many STDs out here going around okay. for you to just be out here willy nilly and doing oh. what you do. Yes, willy nilly. You're okay with that shit. <laughs> nah, negative. So, anyways, let's go back to the post that I'm dominating. It is illegal to post somebody's child without their permission. I have the right as Dominic's mother and only mother. For instance, a lot of you guys have this question like, what about the other people that's posted? What about the other? If it's negative about my son or if it's something I don't agree on about my son, I as Dominic's mother, just like you mothers out there, you got a right. Like if a girl, if, yeah, if whoever posts your son and you're like, no, nah, take that down. They're like, no, nah, it's illegal. Take them to court. You will win. So I sent her a cease and desist. She knows she can't post my son. She knows. But she knew that she knew she was going to get sympathy on social media. So she like, oh, it's worth it. I'm going to get my sympathy on social media. Media. I'm gonna get my reputation back. I don't give a shit if I get sued. At least I this is my thing. He wasn't gonna see it. You get what I'm saying? He don't care about them nails. And he can't get to the cake. Y'all, are we forgetting that she stay in Arizona? And I don't know where the hell Damo stay, but I know that she could get there. Bitch, I would have dropped the cake off at the crib. You get what I'm saying? You would never be able to take me away from my baby. Those gifts that she bought on Christmas would have dropped them off in front of Damo house. Period. Oh, girl, not on the door. I, I, if, if you are the only way that I can see my baby, if you are the only way that I can talk to my baby, I'm going to do whatever I can to talk to you, please you, whatever the fuck you need so I can talk to my baby or so I can have my baby nobody would ever take my baby period uh uh mm -mm. nobody And the most selfish part about it all is you're going to try to take my son's second birth. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking something went wrong with the video. She done paused it. Child. Go back again. It's you're going to try to take my son's second birthday and make it about you. Like, if you really gave a fuck, you wouldn't have did all that. That's how I feel. Selfish. And I hate that because she never cared for my son. And I will always defend her. I will always be like, can you please just like treat him better? Can you be nice? Or can you not yell at him when he drop his bottle? Can you not call him names? I would go in on like, I don't want to tell y'all. Oh, listen. Just know that she was not good to him. I'm not even gonna lie, there were some days that she was decent. And I'm like, yo, but it'd be on camera. She would always have the camera. I said, can you turn off the camera? Not everything needs to be on social media. I literally had to force her in the middle of the night to watch Dominic. She would have a whole attitude while watching Dominic, but be online like, watching my baby. Oh my God, I'm up with my son. Next morning I wake up and look at that like, huh, I wouldn't say nothing. Let's say, for instance, Damo were lying, right? Because, you know, if if every, you got her side, you got Chris's side, you got the truth, right? <clears throat> so, say, for instance, Damo were lying. If y'all, if y'all haven't noticed, Chrissy has, like, the nastiest attitude in the world. Like, people ask me, why wouldn't I do a video with her? It's simply for that reason. Uh-uh. I, I know her... Her vibe wouldn't mesh with mine. You get what I'm saying? I, I don't like it. You know? I would do a fucking video with Miller. And I would, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I think Miller's really cool. I ain't saying she innocent or nothing either. But I do think she cool. I think she's 
straightforward and that nigga just she she it is what it is you know what i'm saying but i would do a video with her before i would do a video with chrissy ever i just i don't like her vibe i don't like her attitude i don't like the way she treat miller i don't like the way she treated dama i just don't like the way she treat people i don't like the way she treat her subscribers and them the ones you know what i'm saying who get mad at other people and that's crazy because she be treating y'all crazy i don't i don't get that <laughs> but whatever if that's how you want to be treated but Nah, I, don't talk to my, ain't nobody about to come over here and talk to my family the way she talked to hers. Like, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -mm. Weak-minded female at that time. But, I'll be like, 90% mm -mm. of the time that she ever watched Dominic in the middle of the night, I would have to take Dominic because she would be, oh, I'm like, give my son, give me my son, stop, have patience. Don't be rocking my baby like that. Don't That's be having right. an attitude with him. Don't be cursing at him first and foremost. She curses at him all the time. Even last time she... And see... You know, at that point in time with Damo, because Damo keeps saying she was wrong, she was she was weak or whatever. Damo should have left her ass a long time ago, because if she if she didn't, she should have punched her in her face for doing whatever she was doing to that baby that she wasn't supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Pick girl. No, ma'am. I don't know what she was doing to him. I, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, if that were the case, you know, she should have left her a long time ago. Like I said, they both should have. They, oh, I'm glad it's over. Like four months ago. All the time. Like, you fucking asshole. Don't fucking call my son an asshole. Don't call him stupid. Don't call him dumb. Don't call him names. If you want to be on social media acting fake. If and that's all she, media, like, boo, that's all she like, say anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Son, don't treat him the same way you treat him on social media. Because how you treat him on social media is amazing. I'm like, damn, she a good mom. But then in real life, oh, it's like, oh, oh, that's her reality. Whoa, whoa. Um, Let me tell you about this time. Um, I don't know if y'all remember. I'm not going to say any names. My, my best friend stayed with us um, for a month. At that time, me and my ex were still together. And my best friend was going on hard times. And my ex was like, hey, she can stay with us. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a good idea. So she came all the way from Indiana to Arizona and stayed with us for a month, a little over a month. And I remember on day like three of her living there, we were walking shopping with our babies because that was always with me. There was not a time. That's my point I'm trying to make. She did not take care of him. Period. Like, I did so much. She did. That's why this little act she's doing on social media is irritating me so much. I wouldn't even want to speak on this, but you're not going to say you're lying. <laughs> and get tattoos all over. So, like, ta what is a tattoo going to do? When you got that tattoo of Dominic, you was cheating on me. And I didn't see you for days. And you still going to lie about that. Like, oh, no. Like, we were arguing, but we weren't. Like, goodbye. I'm not about to come here. And sugarcoat nothing. I'm not about to come here and be like, oh, like, no, it's not. I'm going to come here direct and blunt because I don't play about my son, period. Anyways, my best friend sat me down on like day three while we were shopping. We sat on a bench. I remember this like it was yesterday. And she started crying out of nowhere. And I'm like, what's wrong? Like, what's going on? What's going on? <sighs> and something in my heart, and like my heart sunk. I was like, I know what she's about to say. She's only been here for three days and she sees it. I know she's about to say, please God, please God, please God, don't let her say it. Because I always defended her. My family would say, her family would say it. But they ain't going to tell me that. Anyways, my best friend sat me down. And she's crying and my heart sunk. And I will never forget. She looked at me and she said, why doesn't Chrissy do anything for Dominic? And I was like, and I know she meant. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, from the moment you wake up, you eat, sleep, and breathe, Dominic. From the moment you go to bed. You feed wig before you feed yourself. You yeah. bathe him before you bathe yourself. You go to the park before you do anything fun for yourself. Why is she allowed to go out? Why is she allowed to live like she doesn't have a baby? Why doesn't she change diapers? Why doesn't she make bottles? Why doesn't she do this? Why doesn't she do that? Why doesn't she play with it? Why doesn't she have an emotional connection? Why is it always on Snapchat? With everything that I felt in my heart. And at first, I'm never gonna lie, I tried to deny it. I was like, well, no, like, she, she's a good person, you know, like, she, she's really a good mom. And I would always say she was a good mom to try to hype her up and try to make her believe it. Because she would come to me all the time, like, I'm such a bad mom. And I'd be like, no, baby, like, you got this. Like, come, you can do it, just. Girl, she was trying to make her feel like somebody she wasn't. And somebody she still not. Because no body is taking my baby, bro. I'm talking about if you want to social media some shit. <clears throat> I'm at Damo House and um, I'm dropping these gifts off, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I want him to get these gifts and, 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 and whatever. And, you know, and Damo can decide to do whatever she's going to do with the gifts, etc. But honestly, or see me, I'm grown. I'm grown as fuck. I will be like, listen, 
I apologize for whatever I did to offend you. You know what I'm saying? I don't need, girl, we don't want each other no more, so we ain't even got to talk about that. But I want my baby. You get what I'm saying? I want my baby. And I'm going to get my baby. <laughs> Period. You get what I'm saying? Like, Bond with him off camera. They know all the way. Put the camera down. Get off Snapchat. Get off Instagram. Bond with him. For real. The real bond. There's so much stuff me and Dominic do even though I vlog that you guys don't see. Because there's a lot of stuff that don't need to be on camera. Exactly. I would tell her that. Bond with him. Take him to the park. Not on camera. Go see a kid's movie. Not on camera. Go to an amusement park. Not on camera. And everything was always on camera. So anyways, I just tried to defend her like so hard. She was like, girl, I'm your best friend. I've been your best friend since sophomore year of high school. Please tell me the truth.